How are you doing, guys? So, I just have to knock up a couple of rabbit snares today. Um, so, I just thought I'd show you the process that I go through. Um, have some here that just need that pegs had it, and a handful there finished pegs and all on. But, um, just thought I'd show you my jig. Um, so, I've got a lend of timber here. Um, one end here, and the other end here that I use for measuring out the brass um, got this little jig set up here for making the tailors for rabbit snares and on the other end it's for tailors for fox snares and then this side here is just for um, creating lengths of toy wire for attaching the pegs so this here um, so I'll, just, I'll bring it through the kind of the process so what I'll do first is I'll get the the brass wire all laid out so you can see that on the jig. So just load it up there with the brass so as you can see it's going nail to nail. Then I just have a toy every so often just to kind of keep them together for when I cut them. Um, the brass is see you see that there now 4.57 millimeter. Um, I'll give you the link in the description where you can get it. I get everything from 14 acre. Um, so basically, I'm not going to use a full length, I'm going to cut it in half and that'll give me two sets then to work with roughly about maybe 20 30 snares all together. So I'll just get that cut now and I'll get the eyelets onto it. Okay, so we have the, the two bundles cut up. Um, that's one bundle there and this is the other one that I've got the eyelets onto. So basically what I do is I take three, three strands, so three of these folds, place an oil in between them and just give them a couple of twists just to hold the oil it on and that is the beginning of your six strand snare. So what I'll do now is I'll take one out of bundle each time, spin them up and then they'll be ready then to have the stops put on. So I'll get them spun up now and then I'll show you. Okay, so that's the snare spun up now. Um, so the eyelets are on, and then using the tool, then I, I have them all spun. The reason you want to spin them is because if they're not wound tight, if one um, strand is longer than the rest or shorter than the rest, that will be the one that will take the strain first when you do get a catch. And that once that snaps, then it just you know. It affects the integrity of the snare and more than likely that's when your snares will start to break so it is important to have them wound up nice and tight um, again, but you don't want to over wind them either and that will also affect the integrity of them so as you're winding them up you just want to be feeling the bite down along and as you feel that they're wound together nice and tightly compact you can just work your way down the snare and um, again you don't want to over wind it so just in accordance with Irish law now. I'll just get the stops on this and then I'll show you them with the stops on. So I've just got um, a couple of them crimped now. So basically, according with Irish law, you need to put a stop at 16 and a half centimeters. So there's a couple done there. You just put on, so I have a brass stop that I just slide down to the 16 and a half centimeter mark using a crimping tool. This one here. I just crimp on the stop and that's about it and um, these are going to be fence line snares so these are going on the fences so there's no need to attach tailors um, all that's left really after they're crimped is just to load the snare but um, yeah I'll put together another video again uh, just show you how to make it all start to finish um, but if you're looking for the likes of the sizes and the length of cables and all you should be using. Um, there's a, a great DVD out there um, by Woodge, which you can get on the 14 Acre website. And there's also a fantastic book written by um, Glenn Walters as well, which I uh, would highly recommend that you pick up if you want to successfully snare. Um, that's why I don't give you the length or the size around. Them guys provide it all. Cheers.